Welcome back, everybody. Took a little break after covering over 350 node breakdowns. And now that we've covered all the tools available within Fusion, we're going to jump into Fusion and start learning Fusion. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the Fusion software itself. So let's roll this intro and let's get to learning Fusion. We're learning Fusion together. We'll learn 2D stuff and 3D stuff and particle stuff and Compositing stuff, deep pixel stuff, and tracking stuff, but not other stuff, but some other cool stuff. Cause we're learning fusion together. So to be able to use fusion, we have two versions of the software. We have the fusion standalone, which is just simply a standalone, which looks like this. So it's basically our fusion page we have even in DaVinci Resolve, but you notice there's no tabs because we don't have any resolve here. Additionally, within here, we don't have any of the resolve nodes. And with the Fusion standalone, you have both the free and the studio version. And the free and studio version differ just a little bit when it comes to GPU use and different things. And I'm really not going to cover this because for all our learning Fusion, we are not going to be using the Fusion standalone. We're going to be using Fusion within DaVinci Resolve. And of course, DaVinci Resolve offers a free and studio version. And this is what we're really going to be going over the differences between the free and the studio version, because in our learning fusion, there's going to be a lot of missing stuff within the free version. And of course, you can jump over to Blackmagic and download the standalone or DaVinci Resolve with Fusion within it. And the free version is there. And if you want to get the uh, paid version, it's $295. And it's $295 whether you buy the Fusion standalone or buy the DaVinci Resolve version with Fusion in it. And the keys work for both. So if you buy one, you can use the studio version on both the standalone and DaVinci Resolve. So some of the main difference within the, the standalone and DaVinci Resolve version, one of the main ones is the loader node. Within the standalone, the loader node allows you to load all file types, so any media file types. In DaVinci Resolve, we can only load EXRs with the loader node within Fusion. Additionally, the standalone comes with a primary keyer node and the external mat saver node, whereas the Resolve version does not. And there are some minor differences within the program itself. And Fusion Standalone offers you much more in-depth stuff like AVI preferences, your GPU preferences, layout, loader, memory, network, preview, QuickTime preferences, video monitoring preferences, bins, so you can set up a security for your bins. And additionally, your console window is a little bit different. And it runs the same, it's just within our, our standalone, the console window is a tab in itself. So let's talk about the difference between the free and studio version of DaVinci Resolve, since this is what we're going to be using for the entirety of this course. So one of the main differences is your resolution, where the free version, you just get all, up to Ultra HD. In the studio version, you can go up to uh, 32K, which is a huge timeline. And the frame rate under the free version is limited to 60 frames per second, whereas in the studio, you can go up to 120 frames per second. In our format support, we only get 8-bit format support for the free, and uh, we have a plethora of format support within the studio version. And of course, one of the main things in which dictates what nodes are and aren't available between the free and the studio is the free only allows you to use your CPU, whereas the studio version uh, incorporates your CPU and multi-GPU use. So now as I bring these up, I'm just going to show you what DaVinci Resolve Studio has. And uh, anything I'm showing here, this means the free version does not have this. So within the studio interface, we can uh, bring in a video clean feed, which means we can have a full screen viewer for a secondary monitor connected directly to our computer running through DaVinci Resolve. Additionally, Studio allows us to have HDR Mastering 4, which means we can connect our HDR monitoring devices through HDMI, and that can be run through uh, DaVinci Resolve. And with our HDR light level reports, we can generate those in Studio, whereas in the free version, we cannot. When it comes to upscaling, Studio allows us to use the, the super scale or high quality upscaling. In the free version, we are limited to uh, our upscaling ability. For a clip metadata within uh, Studio, we can uh, have DaVinci Resolve analyze our audio clips within our media pool, and it can automatically assign it in the category, add keywords, and uh, we can organize different stuff with our audio classification for clips. 
Studio also offers scene cut detection on the timeline, which will automatically analyze and split up and edit video into individual clips. Within our cut page, we can use that scene cut detection on our timeline. We can create subtitles from audio, and we have audio transcription and text-based editing. As far as audio and video effects within our cut page, it also offers smart reframe, voice isolation, music remixer, music editor, dialogue separator track effects, the beat detector, dialogue matcher, audio assistance, and voice convert, which are all uh, very useful tools. Within our edit page, it offers all the same stuff within our audio and video effects. And it has a very robust uh, text-based editing ability within the studio version. So you can do audio transcription, detect speakers during your transcription. You can export audio transcripts with speaker and timecode info. And you can use IntelliScript for creating timelines from those scripts. And then you can do text-based video editing. Additionally, Studio offers multicam editing with our little smart switch, which is basically AI powered multicam tool, which will analyze all your multi-camera angles and automatically cut to the most appropriate angle based on who's speaking within your footage. Studio allows you to create subtitles from audio and you can also apply AI animated subtitles. And one of the most important things within uh, DaVinci Resolve is we have Magic Mask V2 available within Resolve, and it's also available within Fusion as an OFX node. And we will be using Magic Mask quite a bit during this training. And I'm not sure if version one is still available within uh, the free version, but I know version two of the Magic Mask is not. Now for our IntelliTracker, which is available both in DaVinci Resolve Studio and within Fusion on your Point Tracker node, one of the options is to use your IntelliTracker instead of your Point Tracker. And even though you'll have a tracker node within Fusion on the free version, it will not offer this IntelliTracker. Now within your color tab, Studio offers noise reduction, the Ultra NR noise reduction, and motion blur. And that's basically, if we go down here to our little color tab, this little tab right here for our motion effects within our uh, free version, we don't have full use of all this stuff over here. Under our Fairlight tab, the studio version offers a lot of additional stuff for audio, which includes immersive formats, AI create ADR cues, removing silence, AI checkerboard to new tracks, voice convert, object-based format support, all your 3D support for your Dolby Vision and all that fun stuff, AI audio assistance, dialogue separator, music remixer, voice isolation, surround buses, and B-Chain support for monitoring. On our delivery tab, we have native IMF encoding and decoding, which means we've got all the best encoders and decoders for delivering whatever we need to deliver. And a lot of this good coding you're going to use these days is not available within the free version. So here is a list of a plethora of nodes that are not available within the free version. And this, these are basically Resolve effects nodes available within Fusion as nodes. And if you can see, there's a lot of nodes that we use on a daily basis and we will be using on a daily basis that are not available within the uh, free version. And some of the nice new stuff like the uh, service tracker, and the uh, object removal are not available in the free version. Additionally, there is no multi-layer support within the free version, meaning all those uh, nice layers we could bring in from our multi-layer EXRs or our uh, PSD assets, we can't use those in the free version, whereas uh, we can in Studio. Additionally, the free version doesn't offer any of the stereo nodes, so if you're doing any of that uh, stereo 3D footage, you don't have the ability to manipulate and edit it like you should within the free version. Additionally, all the Fusion deep image compositing workflow is only available in the studio. So none of the deep to image, deep to points, none of those available within the free. And we will be covering compositing using deep image nodes within this course. And one of my favorite nodes available within Fusion is not available within the free version, and that's the new CryptoMat node. Additionally, all the new vector warping toolset nodes are not available within the free. They're only available in the studio version, which includes your vector denoise, your vector transform, and your vector warp nodes. And lastly, Fusion VR support. So uh, within their studio version, we get all the uh, nodes available for VR, which is your lat long patcher, your panel map, and your spherical stabilizer. And these are not available within the free version. So I'll bring up our little missing nodes so you can peruse it as I uh, close out. So basically you can see for $295, the studio version 
is probably going to have your best return on investment when it comes to spending $295 on any production stuff. Meaning if you're looking for a new lens, a new light, I'm telling you, if you sink $295 into the studio version, you get updates for life. You've got a key for both the studio version and the standalone of Fusion. So before we start learning Fusion, my suggestion would be to jump over to Blackmagic, invest that $295, grab the studio version because it's well worth it. So I will see you in the next episode.